Derek, it's David. I just read your long text message to me. Um, I don't even know why I'm getting messages like that. Like, like, where have I let you down? Okay. I met you two weeks ago on Facebook. Okay. I'm just going to shoot straight with you, okay. And was willing to help you do a fundraiser on the COTS page. And you know what? I'm not going to mince words here. You lied to me. You told me you were in the program. You told me the first time we talked about it for about a month. That's what you told me. You know, and then today I get this thing, well, I had a connection. I hung out with Christian Black for a couple of weeks. I never stayed at the program. You know, you can mince words all you want, get mad at me for being honest with you, but you fucking lied to me, dude. You did. You lied to me. And so there's trust issues, and I still still brought you up to my house again yesterday. I You, you have come up to my house and worked in my vehicles for 10 hours total. I've given you with the, with the Uber... $675, and all you've managed to pay with 675 bucks that I know of is a phone bill. And I'm getting messages from you like your bills are my responsibility, like somehow I'm letting you down. Let me tell you something, how I sacrificed for you. I could have got every bit of that work done on those vehicles without putting out a penny. I, did, I, I actually chose to take almost $1,000 with parts and spend it so you could have money when I could have dropped it off at one of several shops around here that I barter with and not paid any money at all. That's huge. You know, and about bills, you want to hear about bills? My bills come to about seven grand a month. Okay. So, you know, whatever bills you got going on, I got them too. And COVID has zapped my, my revenues. You know, I, I'm not making near the money I normally make. Uh, in fact, my wife's asking me why I'm even doing this because we need money too. To survive, you know, but you know, it, it, I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of things you say to me, and may, maybe it's because there's trust issues in place already. Maybe you're being honest, okay, about other things. But a lot of things you say to me, since I got this distrust in my mind, maybe I'm overthinking it. But they don't add up, man. You know, you change your story a lot. This, that, and the other thing. I don't even know what to do with you. And I couldn't put a fundraiser up on that church on the street page because. You know, I can't go to them and say, let's help one of our brothers from church on the street, you know. So I'm try I try to figure out how to work around that, you know. So all I'm telling you is I appreciate the work you did for me. You got paid righteously. I don't want to, I don't really care what it's worth or what you could have made doing it. I know that doesn't matter. You basically made $67.50 an hour for being at my house, you know. So, you know, I don't know what your deal is, man. You know, I don't know if, you know, and and, and forgive me for, for thinking about it, but I do think about it. I don't know if you're doing mess. I don't know what your deal is, but your behavior, your behavior is, is awkward, bro. You send me this fucking text message just now, acting like I'm letting you down and saying, what did I ever do to you? you you're just not thinking straight, man. And, and it makes me think you're doing dope. If you're not, fine. I don't care what you do with your personal time. But but all I'm telling you is I'm still willing to help you. I'll help you get that job. He's going to drug test you if, you if you are using. And I'll have you up here to work on my vehicles. But I'll be honest with you. I don't want to hear about your bills no more. I'm tired of it. You know, it's not my responsibility. You know, my kids have bills that they're past due on. They don't even come at me like that. You know, I got a, a daughter who's 29 and a son. Her son is 29 and a daughter who's 31. You know, and I tell them, you know what, handle your business. You know, do what you got to do to get by. You know, here I'm doing favors for you. I wouldn't even do for my own kids. So I just want to get this out there, man. I'm not your enemy. You didn't do nothing to me. But you just weren't honest with me at the beginning with the church on the street thing. And this thing with the master cylinder, taking it back, that's just dis dishonest, man. You, you got some dishonesty in you. I, I, I could never... As a believer in Jesus Christ, take, take a part off a part and go run it back to the store and lie to them and tell them that it, the part was missing. But, see, you're willing to do that. See, so you got some, you need to work on your truthfulness, man, because it's affected our relationship. You've been, you've been dishonest with me and you've expressed a willingness to be dishonest in other areas. And I can't hang with that, man. I need to be able to trust people I'm around. You know, so... 
you know, if you want to not call me no more, that's fine. Like I said, I'm willing to help you. But if, if we're going to do this, you're going to, you're going to, you know, you're going to hear what I feel about it. If you're going to send me messages like that, you're going to get a response. So, you know, that's all I got to say, you know. It, like, I'm still willing to try and do something with a fundraiser, but we we got to figure out a way to bring this above water. It, it can't be a deception. I'm not doing it, you know. So, anyway, I'll get this off to you. Do what you want with it, you know. You can tell me to eat shit and die or give me a call tomorrow and apologize to me for lying about church on the street. There's no way you can work around that, dude. You lied to me. You told me you were there a month. Then two weeks ago you said why, well, you were there a, or a week ago. You were, I was just there for about a week or so. Then today I finally cornered you, and you finally admitted you never even stayed a night there. You know? What's that, bro? So don't, don't mistake my kindness for weakness. I'm not a fool. You know? And I pretty much sized you up. You know? And, uh, you know, it's caused some trust issues. But still, I've, I've advanced you money. I gave you good money to work on my vehicles. You know, so I don't feel like I've done you wrong. And uh, so I don't know why you had to send me that message you just did, but it was inappropriate. So anyway, I'll talk to you later. Do what you want with that. I'll see you.